Hello friends, welcome back to All in Law. Guys, this is a medical video lecture, Microbiology. And today's topic of this discussion is Pasturella. Okay. Malto Sida. Pasturella Maltosida or Pasturella. So before starting a discussion on this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your friends. Guys, currently we have more than 600 medical video lectures in our channel. So these videos are really very important for your USML is step one to step three examinations. So try to concentrate on our videos, try to share our videos, please thumb up, please do share, please subscribe, okay? So guys, let me start a discussion on this Pasturella multisoda, multosida, multosida. Okay. So before starting, I would like to tell you briefly about the Pasturella. What are the clinic? What are the sorry? What are the features of this? What you call genus features of this uh, bacteria? Whether they are gram positive or gram negative, that should be your first question. Whether it's a positive or gram negative, it's a gram negative okay are they rods or bacilli they're rods okay rods and they're small gram negative rods okay they're facultative anaerobes okay they're facultative anaerobes that's really very important and whenever you think of pasturella multicida try to think of one important point a patient came to you with animal bite Think of Pasturella, what you call Maltosida, okay? In USML examination, just think about animal bite, cat bite specifically I'm talking about, okay? So what's the reservoir for this? The mouth of animal, right? Like cat, mouth of animals. Mouth of animals, like especially cats and the dogs. How it is transmitted? It's transmitted the bite, right? Especially remember the cat. What's the pathogenesis? How does it act? Pathogenesis. It has an endotoxin and a capsule. Okay. Endotoxin and capsule. Okay. How would they present? They present with the lymphadenitis. Remember, whenever there's in USML examination, they give that they have the cat and recently has developed uh, lymphadenitis, okay? And it's spreading slowly. So, uh, which of the following organism could be responsible for his uh, clinical symptoms? Then think of uh, Pasturella multocida, okay? And um, how would you treat that? A really very important drug that can be asked in uh, USML examination, okay? How would you treat that is the amoxicillin clavulinate? Amox clavulinate. Okay. Right? And it's also used for the which type of bites? Human bites also. So okay guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sure this video was really very helpful for your USML step on examination. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care. Take care. Take care.